Alright guys, so today is going to be part one of my Rosalina guide. I'm going to split this up into two parts. First one is going to be this video, which is a very simple and basic video on what Rosa does, how to play her. And the second video is going to go more in depth for people who want to see like technicalities, special tricks, and other things. So with that said, let's get right into it. Rosalina is a mid-tier, in my opinion, Smash Ultimate. Maybe upper mid-tier, maybe lower mid-tier. But somewhere around the average power level of the cast. She is a mid rangey Waller character, I'd say, with lots of good burst options, lots of good poking tools, good combo game, actually. But she struggles to rush people down and, like, pressure them. She struggles to force people to approach and deal with good camping. And so she has a bit of trouble finding a niche. And she's not really a character you play as, like, a tournament canopy character, unless you're trying to be Pac Man. She, you just kind of play her because you like her, right? So, with that said, her strengths include a good combo game, um, good range on her moves, decent frame data for that range, a really good grab game, strong advantage state, particularly with edge guarding and ledge trapping, very, very good movement, she's hard to combo, Luma gives her potential to do lots of tricky stuff and cool setups, and then her weaknesses include an awful anti-projectile tool. She is a big lightweight character, so she's kind of easy to hit and she dies early. Luma is made of paper towels. She has trouble killing. She doesn't have the best juggling game. She struggles under pressure and she struggles to approach people. And she lacks a proper, like, anti-air. Like, she has anti-airs, but they all seem kind of mediocre or just bad. So, let's get into it. How to play Rosalina. In neutral, your main tools are going to be your back air because... This move is pretty safe, it does good damage, has good range, all that Galaxy hitbox's range, and then Luma also gives this move extra range. And it's just solid over like 15 damage. Oh, let me actually turn the set moves on. It's like 16 damage fresh on short hop. And you can drift very easily with Rosa, because she has high air excel, so you can like do like this and drift far away, make that very hard to punish while being able to outspace a lot of things. It's just a great move overall. You can do a rising, of course, or falling. Safe when falling, but rising is quicker. And, like, this is the main go-to air move. Now, on the ground, she has two main poking tools. Side B and down tilt. Side B goes pretty far, as you can see. Does okay damage. It's actually negative on hit at low percents. But that's fine, because you're not really going to use this to rush through that. You're just going to poke people with them, be annoying, push them into a ledge, like here. Uh, short hop side B is a very good tool, actually. Because Zuma goes in the air when you do this, so it covers jump-ins very well. Because otherwise this move loses hard to people jumping over Rosa. But let's you back off and cover jump-ins. So, and then down tilt is just a great move in summers around here when you have Luma around. Has okay range, okay speed, not much damage. It can lay follow up though, because you can do like down tilt into like dash grab people. Especially if you knock them down to tech chase, right? It's like down tilt, knock them down, dash attack them. Or down tilt, knock them down, down smash is very good. And then other moves in neutral worth mentioning are going to be Luma Shot because Luma Shot's very fast. And if someone blocks this move, they have to basically take the mix up. Um, if they block this move, you can jab them and they have to hold block or up tilt them. But if they try to shield, you can just grab them. So there's actually a very good move with the spacing, the throw up first people because it tends to have a good hitbox, catch people off guard. You can also charge it slightly for more knockback and space. And still the same exact mix ups. In fact, the mix-up's even better the more you charge it because it's going to have a little bit more shield damage, meaning a bit more shield stun. So I really like this move at like this range as a great pressure people and like body people for shielding. Her dash attack is a very good move. It's actually an amazing dash attack. It's two hits, so people tend to drop shield after the first hit. And Rose's dash is extremely good. I'm not sure I get two in that for this dash, but um, if you look at her, the green spot of her body, that's her... Her box, right? And she's invincible right now, but that's her, her box only. So if you look at her dash, when she turns around, her box becomes very tiny. So like she's able to weave in and out of opponent's space and avoid a lot of low and high hitting moves during her turnaround and when she's dashing back. Because then when she dashes back, see how low her box is? So like dashing in towards people and dashing out is an extremely important strategy for her. About the fact that her dash tech hitbox is big. Like this is gonna hit him. I think. Yep, see? Big hitbox on dash attack. Not much damage. But you just use this to hit someone neutral and get good damage going. And also, if you look at her hurtbox during dash tech, see how she kind of like goes over a lot of moves because she jumps in the air and then she goes under moves. 
so she can actually low and high profile moves at the same time with her dash attack. So this move is phenomenal. Combine that with her dash grab being very good because she has very good combos and like her dash game is great. She also has a frame 9 dash grab and a frame 6 standing grab. So like this is like her neutral is going to look something like this. Space with back airs, dash around a lot, dash, dash, dash. Do some side beat, poke people out, shoot a, a loom out, start pressuring them with luma shot. More side beats, get close and down tilt them. You frustrate them, now you can start dash attacking them. Dash in and out, dash in and out. You know, come to the ledge, cool. Dash in and out. You think they got shield this time because you dash attacked them last time. You dash grab them, right? There you go. Just a basic look at her neutral. I should also mention um, one important trick for her. Like, the most important tech for her, for a beginner's guide, is going to be her dash attack cancel grab. So basically, you can cancel a dash attack in this game with a dash grab in the first three frames of pressing a dash attack. So it's going to be as simple as do dash attack, and within three frames of pressing the A button, you press the grab button. And it's good for Rosa, because Luma's dash attack comes out, but Rosa's dash grab comes out. So you have a six frame Luma dash attack that combos into a frame nine dash grab. Meaning it beats shields, it clanks with ground and moves, giving you the free dash grab. It combos into itself, so extra damage. Since it's coming out frame 6, it's beating spot dodges and rolls easier than just regular dash grab. And the hitbox is decently generous to catch people off guard. So even if you miss the dash grab for some reason with the dash attack, you might still push people away and not get punished and be able to go for follow-ups. So that's a very important tech to practice and master even for basic level rows and stuff, because you're going to get so much off of it. Now speaking of her dash grab, um, her well grabs in general, she has good throw combos. Throw throw, dash attack, basic 0% combo, I think it's her best one that's simple. There's like other advanced stuff, but that's the basic one. 23 damage, good position for follow-ups. You also have back throw fair, which is not true combo of the DI properly, but most people won't. You have up throw up tilt, which is okay, but not as good as throw throw dash attack. And generally just throw throw dash attacks where you're looking for as a combo tool. If you're fighting like Pichu doesn't get caught by that, then just go for back throw and get the damage. Because back throw is the most damage of all her throws, I believe. And then higher percents, you have up throw, up air. So something like this, like boost grab, up throw, up air. Almost 30 damage. And this combos into pretty good percents. Like a price of combos around 70. Yeah. So you have very nice damage and combos, even at those mid percents with Rosa. And then at like 160 plus, you can kill throw throw at the ledge. Or 200 plus up throw mid stage. So, her kill throws don't exist. Other things in neutral worth mentioning with her. Her neutral air is. It's a mini Ike neutral air. You don't want to hit people at the start of the move because you can't really combo up the start of the move like this. Unless you have high percents. But you can combo up the end of the move. So, if you land like. If you outspace someone by like full hopping over, say, a space forward for Palutena. You can then punish them with that neutral air into up smash. And neutral air is safe on block when it's spaced right and timed right. Hitbox in this move is not generous though. It's actually very small. So versus short characters, it's not that good. But like versus tall characters, versus people going into the air, it's very solid. And it gives you combos, even kill percents. So like 120 you can kill people with this move, right? Like, up, oh, punish you with something. There you go. But this is not... A spammable neutral move this is a punished move and a read move and like a way to actually mainly punish people for like overextending on their attacks other important moves in neutral are gonna be up smash hitbox is okay it has good map and lag but comes out very fast and there's some invincibility on rosa and has decent kill power with loom around with just rosa it's not that powerful uh what else is important neutral oh rosa's shield is very important because her outer shield game is very good. With a frame 6 grab, she has a frame 10 shield grab, which is very fast for this game. And the range is it's okay in her grab. And then her up smash is frame 8. So, like, if anyone hits a shield with a move that's minus 8 or worse, which is a lot of moves, and they're in range of up smash, just throw it out there. It's okay damage, but it's just a fast punish. Just don't do this below, like, 20%, because this move is actually unsafe on hit at very low percents. I'm talking, like, 20 and lower. But, like, so dashing around with her and looking for a shield... Well, her dash shield isn't great because she has one of the slowest dash shields in the game. If you get a chance to do, like, dash back, dash and shield, block and attack, up smash as shield is a great option. And you're going to find yourself using that as shield, grab as shield, and even forward air shield. Forward air is an okay move. I didn't mention it because you just kind of throw it out there and you think someone's going to be in that spot. It doesn't do much damage. It doesn't have much kill power. It doesn't really combo or anything. It's just, like, 
they're there, I'll throw it out there. A lot of her moves actually kind of function like that, where if they're there, just throw the move out in that direction. Now, next up, that's her neutral. Let's talk about her ledge trapping. Her ledge trapping is going to be pretty basic, honestly. You're going to use a lot of down tilts at low mid percent to just poke people and do some damage and set up edge guards. You can also look for a forward smash to hit people holding ledge, or as a hard read to catch someone doing regular getup or jump if you can time it. But mainly down tilt. Um, back air is going to catch someone jump if you hard read it. You can also use neutral air to catch tall characters doing regular getup or jump. And you won't combo off rising neutral as I mentioned before a lot of times. Although sometimes you can catch people off guard with like rising neutral air into up air. But generally speaking, you can use like falling neutral air to catch someone ledge jumping and get a combo off it or just back air. You can. Use more up smashes at kill percents, and really look for back airs like fish from the kill percents. And down smash catches some characters holding ledge, like Olimar because the head peaks above the ledge. So that's an okay option. Then you have side B for ledge trapping, it's just another decent poke, sort of like down tilt. And the last thing you do for ledge trapping is shoot Luma out, and then do all the same things except with Luma here as a bait. Some of those regular get him, and like Luma's here, you can multi jab them, right? Or grab them. Um. Someone hits Luma, you can like use that as a bait and dash, uh, down smash him, right? Put Luma here, up smash him while also covering the roll. Or forward smash him while covering the roll. And just Luma shot, while it puts Luma in a vulnerable spot, it does let you use Luma as a bait and get the greedy Luma hits while staying far enough away that Rosa is safe in case the ledge trapping goes wrong. So, and Rosa's ledge trapping is very versatile. Almost all of her moves can be used for ledge trapping in some ways. So, experiment with this character a little bit. What comes to juggling, Rosa's juggle game is not that strong, quite frankly. Um, you can like catch people off guard with up airs and nares, but she's slow in the air and pretty fast on the ground, so she wants to stay grounded during her juggling and catch people missing stuff with like dash attacks, up smashes, and use her her up air, her neutral air, to kind of catch people if they, they do a bad air dodge or with a bad attack, or if you just want to hard reach someone. And if you can get like late hit nair in the air, you can get, like late hit nair in the air and up air and kill people kind of early. Oh, uh, last thing worth mentioning is up air is a kill move, and if you miss this move, you're probably getting punished because it's very laggy. But if you hit this move, you get like 15, 16 damage, and it'll kill Pell around like probably 110 if she's just jumping in neutral. So it's a very powerful move, actually. But Rose is neutral in particular. Let's look at 120. I think it would barely kill. Yeah, barely kills. And now finally, her edge guarding. Her edge guarding is going to primarily be forward air and back air. So the reason for that is, first of all, Rosa's edge guarding is insane. If you have playing this character, you have to edge guard. Period. If you're not edge guarding with her, don't play her. I'm serious. So she's very floaty, right? And she has good air acceleration. So she's able to stay up stage and go for edge guards pretty deep and recover, right? Because her recovery is also very, very far. So like, this is legit just a great shot. Go up stage, chase people with forward air. And hit someone with a forward air or back air, Particularly back air, but the knockback angle of these moves is good in that it can kill people, or if it doesn't, it sets up more edge guards. Because they can knock someone off stage with the back air, they're pretty low, so they have to recover that low angle, letting you get more back airs. It's so like holding a legend just going for these back airs is really effective. Combined with back airs, big hitbox, good damage, kind of lingers because of Luma, and you just have a very strong edge guard move overall. And then forward air, while it's not as good of an angle, less damage, less knockback. What makes forward air good is that it lingers and it's arcing hitbox, so it catches people with spots back air when hit them, and also might catch an air dodge. However, people can fall out of forward air, so it's less reliable, and I like using it less. Um, and then there's always down air. Down air is the hard read move, right? It's like any spike, you know, it's frame 20 almost for Rosa. It has a small hitbox. If you hit someone with down air at like 60 off stage, they're dead, because it always sends in the direction Luma's facing, but it's so slow. And hitbox is so small that you have to hard read someone, you have to two frame them, you have to know where they're gonna go. And then there's also Rosa's Spike, which it's not that good. It's so slow, it's very narrow hitbox. It's actually a very weak spike, and it only has a strong, like, oh, a moderately powerful spike at the start of the move, like right at Rosa's feet. But, like, the tip of the move is actually very weak for a spike. I see, like, that's the strong hit of the spike, right? And yeah, now what comes to the Rosa and disadvantage? She generally struggles at the ledge because she's tall, and Luma tends to die a lot at the ledge. So, like, it's hard to get the ledge with Rosa, and that's just one of her biggest weaknesses. There isn't any special trick for that. My advice is just jump, because her landing game is alright. She is floaty, 
but she has good air excel, which means she's able to drift back and forth a lot and find an opening to air dodge to the ground safely. Or use her really long air dodge to escape someone. Or just kind of drift around and find an opening with someone overextended. You know, use her double jump when she thinks someone's going to like attack and then get past them that way. And she's generally just going to use her great aerial drift combined with landing with neutral airs to escape this advantage from above. Just remember, she can really, really drift in the air very quickly. She also has decent B reverses with side B and neutral B. Neutral B is particularly good with Luma gone. Oh, not gone. Detethered from Rosa. It's like detether, you know, neutral B is good. And then if your Luma is tethered to you, you can do a side B and side B B reverse to turn around in the air quickly. Uh, anything else worth mentioning? Her down B, I mentioned this before, I think is pretty bad. It has lots of end leg. It absorbs projectiles and items. It's actually actually pretty good for slow projectiles, like say a Mega Man forward smash or an item such as Rob's gyro, if the Rob can't follow up because it picks up the item and gives it to Rosa in her hands. But it's situationally good. It's very easy to punish her for doing this move and overall it's just not great. And I think her, I think she's good as heavyweight characters because she can juggle them and light chop and edge guard them well while I'm neutraling them pretty hard. But I think she struggles with sword characters. Actually, no, she's okay with sword characters because of her dash attack. But she really struggles with projectile characters like Mega Man, for example, Duck Hunt. Characters that just kill Luma freely, pressure her because she's tall, don't give her a chance to burst them down, don't let her play a mid range wall in game, and then abuse how bad her down is. But yeah, so that is my. Basic Rosalina guide, if anyone just want to play her casually, I'll be releasing a guide that goes into more depth with a lot of her setups and combos if you want to like really learn some of the meat and bones of Rosa. But that's it guys, hope this helps, peace out.